All right, folks. Hey, let's talk about how I did the manhole cover that you see here. And um, I want to talk about how, you know, I 3D printed it and then I grimed it up and kind of aged it a little bit. And uh, it, it made a really cool little addition to this brick uh, piece that I had lying around for the last year and never did anything with. This was the perfect place to put it. <laughs> anyway, here's the uh, uh, manhole covers that just came off the... Um, 3D printer and I printed them right to the build plate uh, made it real nice and easy they're a flat bottom don't require any supports uh, might as well print them to the build plate and save time in the process also hey stick around uh, because for those who watch this video I will link provide a link to you on where you can get these manhole covers for free I'll uh, give you the STL file and you can print them out yourself but we're just cleaning them up here a little light sand on the back uh, and the reason that we're going to do this is because I'm going to prime these with this primer right here from Vallejo, Mecca Primer. Uh, the reason that I prime these is because when I go to paint them with the airbrush, I want the paint to, to stick and um, I can't sand all down in the little grooves and everything. And so the primer is going to uh, help the paint stick and we're going to go ahead and get over here and, and get to priming it. And I want to talk real quick that primer that I use, it's kind of thick um, and... Uh, so I'm going to put it in what the airbrush I'm going to use for this is the Iwata Revolution because it has a bigger nozzle than the HPCS uh, Eclipse that I have. Um, so now that you see them primed, the paint that I mixed together here is just some uh, brown and black. I didn't want a black manhole cover because you don't typically see straight black manhole covers. They're usually an iron uh, or some sort of black maybe grating or something like that but they're not always just jet black and so I, I mixed a, a brown together here with a couple drops of black and we're just going to lightly put our first coat on over the primer to make sure everything's sticking really well I'm going to let a little paint out and then I'm just going to let a little air out dry it in between the passes and go ahead and just cover them both up with uh, the paint that I mixed up and airbrushing really you know um, is really a nice tool to be able to use for building and painting stuff like this uh, because you just don't get the same effect with a brush uh, and and so I really like being able to use the airbrush on stuff like this and, um, and this one here like I say is the Iwata Revolution uh, it has its good points and its bad points <laughs> compared to the HPCS <laughs> for sure uh, now that we've got them painted and it's uh, dry. We're just going to do like I did in the abandoned arcade. Uh, if you've seen that video, I'm just going to take some washes, some watered down black, and I'm just going to go through the uh, manholes here. And I printed two. I'm just going to go through them and I'm just going to apply a very watered down black in the rim right there where the manhole actually goes down into the uh, sort of a, a sleeve that would go into the ground. Um, there's not just like a lid and then you know, on top of the ground and there, there's like, like a, uh, a sleeve that it goes in. And so you might not be able to see that in the video here, but I'm just getting a really watered down black and I'm going into that rim and then I'm going all around the uh, manhole themselves. And then I just go ahead and dab some of the excess off. One thing I don't want to see when I do black wash or any kind of wash is a hard edged water stain from when the water evaporates. So I try to keep an eye out for that. We're going to run through here with some of these Vallejo, uh, pigments and just put a little bit of dark and a little bit of the more yellowish orangey newer rust pigment uh, just to give some contrast in there we got a nice base coat going with the two uh, colors of the black and brown I just want to bring out a little rust color and you can do this with washes also I just chose to do it here with the pigments because I hadn't used them in a little while and uh, figured it was time to get them out again gray pigments Vallejo uh, rust kit uh, comes with quite a few different colors of rust in there and I really like it we're just applying it with a little bit of water here and at this point you want to really be sure that your paint is dry before you go on and start doing this because you can begin to when you add a, a wet brush against the you know airbrushed uh, on latex paint acrylic uh, paints you can begin to rub some of that off because it stays wet so here we're going to blow some of the water out with compressed air that might not have dried uh, getting it out of the grooves so that there's no water left in 
in there to surprise me when I go to seal these later with the Mod Podge spray. Uh, and you don't have to seal these with a Mod Podge aerosol spray. The reason that I do is it's going to make it a little bit darker and I spray it with a matte spray, but we'll get to that here shortly. But I, I spray it because it protects it. But you can set these um, pigments in the in wherever, the, you know, in whatever they're on, like a manhole cover or, or a diorama with Vallejo airbrush thinner, too. But uh, here we're going to mix up a little bit of uh, tacky glue with some water. And I use a little bit of that black uh, water there just to give it a little color. And we're going to make sure it's kind of watered down and I'll put it in various spots on the manhole covers. And then I'll just shake a little bit of shake a little bit of grout on there. Uh, that's what's in that. Uh, spray paint cap right there is grout and since I don't want it to stay the color of grout I use the the watered down black and then I just tap the excess off man we got some grimy texture added to these manhole covers that uh, really adds another layer of depth to the piece itself and I'll take a different kind of different style of brush here that's like a little fantail brush and just lightly very lightly skim you can see here, I'm just skimming the top and just getting the excess off and, and uh, you know, just really going in real light with a very light touch with different shaped brushes and kind of uh, dragging some of that rust color through there and, and, and dragging off some of the excess uh, grout so that we don't have a bunch on there that's loose. How fun, huh? <laughs> Who would have thought, you know, a couple old pieces of plastic, man, that are printed that you're going to turn them into a metal looking manhole cover. <laughs> you know, I see a lot of uh, manhole covers, man, and dioramas, and I, why don't I have any? I don't know. <laughs> you can see this brick piece here that is just a brick piece, and it's a good looking brick piece, but I've never done anything with it, man. It's just been sitting on my shelf. So let's cut a hole in this rascal. Let's put a manhole cover in there. Ideally, you would do this before you did the build. You'd have this hole cut and everything before you did all the painting of the of the uh, the brickwork. But this is an after the fact kind of thing. So hey, no big deal. We're gonna cut the hole a little bit smaller than the diameter of the manhole itself. That's gonna work. And what I'll do, you don't see after this, but I'll go in through the bottom and I'll add a couple dabs of hot glue and that creates sort of a lip underneath to prevent that from falling down through the hole or even coming back out the other side. Another great product here, AK Terrain's Concrete. The reason I want to use this is because the manhole cover, as you cut the hole for it, it leaves a little bit of a seam between the brick and where it meets up with the actual sleeve of the manhole cover. So we're just going to pack this down in there with a little bit of water, water this stuff down, put it down inside there and fill that seam in so that it looks like brick or mortar or concrete go right up to the uh, manhole cover sleeve itself. And um, I did also paint the inside of that manhole cover hole uh, that I cut out. I, I painted that with a black Mod Podge just so that there's no pink foam showing anywhere. And then I just put this watered down AK Terrain's concrete um, product down inside there. Uh, get it, you know, pretty watered down and it'll it'll move right down inside there with a very small brush. Uh, and then I'll just, since it's wet, I got a little bit of time to, to pick up the extra before it dries and, and get it off there. But we just want to get it inside that gap and fill it in so that there's no gap and it doesn't look kind of you know, like somebody cut foam and put a piece of plastic in there to make it look like a manhole. It makes it look halfway realistic anyway. <laughs> but yeah, that's just all this is, is little tiny details, man. These manholes made a terrific uh, addition to that piece, man. That uh, with those cones that I made. Wow. You know, what happened was I, I was like, let me make some cones. And I made some cones and I'm like, man, I should make a manhole cover now, too. <laughs> So I made like a whole kit. <laughs> uh, and all that brings to mind also that uh, for those with 3D printers, uh, I have the STL files available for this whole kit uh, on my website. And for those who have 3D printers also, uh, once again, I will link in this video uh, a link that you can go to my website and download the 
manhole cover itself for free. Look at that, man. We're giving away my giving away my art. <laughs> but if you got a 3D printer, man, hey, you'll be able to print this out yourself. So the microfiber towel was not doing it for me. <laughs> so we're gonna we're gonna try a different approach to get the extra off. We're just gonna take a sponge, dip it in some water, and uh, and and get it off there, man. That's you know, one thing about having a shop and 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 within arm's reach, 14 different pieces of sponge and towel and paper towels and q-tips is i got something that's going to get that off of there don't worry about that <laughs> so we're just going to get that you know excess uh, ak terrains um concrete product off of there and you can see that yeah the gap is filled in nice but now we've got this white ring around it what the heck is up with that same thing i'll just go in with some washes that's all i'll do i'll use some of that black i'll go in with some brown You'll see here uh, shortly, I'll minimize and uh, tone down that white with uh, some washes. And that's all, you know, it's always good to have a bunch of washes pre-made. Uh, I've got bottles of washes that I make that are just really watered down. And sometimes sometimes I'm, I'm too lazy to get those out and, and I'll just make wash right there on the right next to the piece that i'm working on like in that ice tray i i, I kind of use it as a as a paint palette uh i'll just make the wash up as i go <laughs> it's just whatever i'm in the mood for at that minute man there's no scheduled there's no routine to this really <laughs> but but i tell you what the dollar store uh, ice trays man they make good um they make good tools for not ice because once you go to make ice and you crack the ice out of there one time those things are shot so you just use them for like paint uh, for painting and making washes and when you've got to mix water and glue and different things like that man they're great for that they're not so great for for ice <laughs> but anyway uh this thing's coming together nice man i'm you know digging what that manhole uh and the color of it offers to the to that piece of foam and you know, to save time as I usually do, I get the old heat gun out because, <laughs> you know, patience is not my thing. Uh, so we just make a few passes and kind of dry some of that AK Terrain's concrete product up uh, because I added a little water to it. And so it takes a little bit longer to dry. It dries really quick, but but I added a little bit of water to it. And I just want to make sure before I go to add the washes to it that it's not totally wet still. It can be a little moist, but I, I don't want it totally wet because... Uh, so that's what we do and what am I doing oh found a gap yeah that's what happened you know what uh, when I was when I was done I looked down and I'm like what I missed that whole half right there sometimes it happens <laughs> you know but as long as you catch it you just go back in and you know I, I probably spend more time on this stinking manhole cover than I really needed to uh, but that's me. What else was I going to do today beside spend an excessive amount of time painting a resin printed manhole <laughs> cover? <laughs> I don't know, you know. Um, but then what happens is there's a little groove in there too, that little lip uh, that the manhole sits down in with that little recess. Uh, some got in there and so I just took a little tool and cleaned that back out. And then I took a, a Q-tip and just kind of just do a little little clean up, flutter the end out on that Q-tip. Get a little bit of that out of there. Good stuff. Sometimes those dying Q-tips, they don't want to work with you. <laughs> See, and I'm going to clean that ridge out right here just with a real thin brush. It's good to have a lot of different size paint brushes on hand. A uh, little fine detail ones, long, fine, short, fine, firm. You know, just uh, you can never have enough paint brushes, especially me, because I've ruined half of them uh, all the time. Leave glue in them, leave paint in them. Gosh, I need to really improve on <laughs> how, will I, how will I take care of my paint brushes? you know uh but just doing a little more cleanup right here it's 
There's always cleanup to be done, <laughs> like any construction job, <laughs> right? Hey, and for those who have the 3D printers, uh, if you go to my website, insightfulimagery.com, and you click on the very bottom of any of the pages in my website, it will say freebies. Click here for freebies. The STL file will be in that link. <laughs> so um, there you go. Giving you some free art. Please don't resell it. That would be nice. Uh, but, you know, it's great to have a nicely detailed manhole cover. Um, you know, it's not just a black circle. And and I did look up quite a few different manhole covers uh, on Google, thinking which ones I could make fairly easily and without all kinds of intricate floral and cityscape and all kinds of other stuff. I, I'm not that super duper uh, <laughs> on something so small. I think this is like, what, two and a quarter, two and a half inches or something. <laughs> so anyway, let's put some wash in and tone down all that fresh new white concrete in there. And uh, so your eye doesn't go and say, what in the world is going on with that manhole cover? It looks like crap. So we'll just add some washes in there, tone it down, let it dry. And I've got one more little trick to add a little bit of realism to it. You'll see here shortly. But this is a really small, tiny brush. And I've got some brown wash in that ice cube tray there. Uh, really watered down brown. And, and the paint that I'm using for that is just the Apple Barrel acrylic paints from good old Walmart. Uh, use those a lot on projects just like this. So we'll dry that up. Since it's a wash, it's really watered down. So there's a lot of water in there. We're going to dry it up real quick just to get, get it kind of speed it up a little bit. Love that heat gun, man. <laughs> I put my hand there because I want to make sure that if it burns my hand, it's going to melt the foam. Uh, I don't want it to be too hot. And it'll actually uh, start to crack that resin piece, too, if you're not too careful. So this here, this is Turf Builder. This is a uh, Woodland Scenics Turf Blend. And I'm just going to take some watered-down glue, go right inside where I put the AK Terrain's concrete um, product in. We're going to add some glue right in there, and I'm going to shake some grass into that hole. Shake it like a salt shaker, right? And it doesn't have to go all the way around in one big, long swoop. Just little spots in there. This is a great way to hide imperfections that you did with your X-Acto knife. <laughs> it's a great way to hide whatever you want to hide, too, man. <laughs> Throw some grass on it or throw some rust on it, man. <laughs> so using the end of the paintbrush, I just get a little bit out and I put it in there and, and then we'll shake it around, knock the excess off. But, you know, this is, uh, like I say, you can spend as much time on painting one of these manhole covers as you want. At the end of the day, I did seal it with a Mod Podge aerosol spray and um, I used a matte spray and not the glossy one uh careful when you do that too because if you're not looking for the, for that brightly colored rust to be toned down then you're going to be greatly surprised when you spray it with a mod podge aerosol spray because it will knock it down and darken it right up so be prepared for that if you're not looking for that but uh man we got a great looking great looking piece of uh brick road here with a manhole cover on there. I'm gonna add a little rust corrosion, another AK Terrains product here. Man, I love these AK Terrains products. Um, and there's other ways that don't get stuck on, oh, I don't have that product. My manhole cover is not gonna look good. No, man, you can use PVA glue and water and grout and all kinds of other things, you know, mix that with some washes and you've got pretty much the same stuff. So don't get hung up on, you don't have this tool or that tool. You know, sometimes I just like to be able to open a jar and pull something out, and there it is, you know, and that's the convenience of some of these products. Um, but you do not have to have them to have fun and build this uh, paint a manhole cover. There's a lot of ways you can do it with stuff that you already have at your house, I'm sure.
Well, are you bored yet watching me paint a plastic circle? <laughs> right? God. Hey, uh, also, if you have not done so, please like and subscribe to the channel. I appreciate it. I'm trying to grow this followers and subscribers and all that stuff. Uh, you know, trying to keep providing content, photography and diorama and crafting related. You know, this is all fun stuff. And, and I'm on Instagram more so now than ever, it seems. Uh, so make sure that you get me on TikTok. Etsy, I sell STL files on Etsy, uh, Facebook, YouTube, and, and Instagram. I'm, I'm all over the place. So come hang out with me on all those different platforms. Look at that. Isn't that cool with those cones? <laughs> How fun, man. Uh, at any rate, folks, I really appreciate you watching. I really appreciate you spending some time with me, uh, keeping me motivated and, and uh you know, keep watching my content and sharing on Instagram and all the different uh, platforms. Like and share, subscribe, go get your free STL files at insightfulimagery.com and we'll see you in the next video.